In this clip we're going to make a scary Halloween costume for an infant. For this clip you're going to need a bin liner, some supermarket plastic bags, some white card, some sticky tape, a stapler, a felt tip pen, black, and an old pair of tights with the legs cut off. We're going to start with a piece of white stiff card and measure it against your infant's head. Like that. It'll just go a little way round. We don't want it to totally enclose the infant's face because it can be a bit scary for a small child to have to wear a, co a covering mask. So, cut up, draw up to the top and down. That's going to be the skull. And then two marks there where the nose will come and then two very large holes where the eyes will go. They don't have to be perfectly round. You can make them a little bit strange shaped like that. We're going to cut those out. Needs a bit of help from a grown-up to fold on the line, clip in, get your scissors into the hole and cut that large area out. And the same at the other side. Fold on the line, clip along the line, scissors into the hole and cut that big area out. If you just clip and clip here, that will help the nose to be comfortable and then clip around the outside of it. And then you can check that you can see. If you find that you haven't left enough space, you can cut it a bit bigger. Along the bottom here, I'm going to do my chop and stops. So a chop and a stop, leave a space, chop and stop all the way along. Leave the nose, chops and stops. Now then, every other one of those you're going to fold up and then it'll look like teeth. So leave one, fold one, leave one, fold one, leave one, fold one, leave one, fold one. That will look like scary big teeth, I hope. There we go. Try it on. Ooh, horrible. Now then, we want to cover the rest of the head. So I've got an old pair of tights with the legs cut off. That'll come down a nice long way, but we want something hairy on it. So what I'm going to use is some plastic bags from a supermarket. I need to shred these so what I'm going to do is fold them over and over again and over again a few times and I can do lots of big chops. Chops, chops, chops and we should have lots of strands of orange plastic stuff that look like scary hair. From that undo them and fasten them together with sticky kit tape. You can have them long and straggly like that. That'll look wonderful and Halloween-y or mysterious. It depends what kind of a place you're going to wear this outfit. There's plenty of long pieces if you want to use it nice and long. Sticky tape them together and then you can staple that onto your headpiece. Just taking care that you don't staple your fingers with it. That's good. And some for the other side. I wonder if you're going to hope that I put this on because I'm going to look very scary if I do, aren't I? Right. Now we've got to remember that plastic bags are a little bit dangerous so you should never ever put your head in a plastic bag unless there's a grown-up with you and unless you've been sure that you've cut some holes in it. So I'm going to open it out, ready to cut holes in the top end. So I just want to cut a slit in the end, that's where your head's going to go through. And then you've also got arms to come out, so we'll make two holes for your arms. So in one side, that's an armhole, and in the other side, another armhole. That's it. For a small child, this should fit over the head with a grown-up, making sure that they've done it safely. And then they can wear black trousers underneath and a black t-shirt that would make it all fit together. Then this goes on the head with the lovely orange hair. And then this will add the final touch, tucking under the hat. That should hold it nice and in position and then you won't need to worry about what you're doing. And you're ready to scare people. Woo! That is how to make an infant's Halloween costume.